क्वेश्चन नंबर 150 क्वेश्चन नंबर 150 इन दैट बाय व्हिच मेथड वाज अ न्यू ब्रीड हिजारडेल ओके हिजारडेल ए शीप फॉर्मड बाय यूजिंग बिकैनरी ईव्स एंड मैरिनो रैम्स इफ यू नो no bicanary ewe is crossed with a merino ram to produce a hisardale which is a new breed of sheep which is nothing but the cross breed and you can develop the stable breed of hisardale also by following inbreeding technique so first we have to follow the cross breed and then you have to follow the inbreed in order to get the stable breed but here the question is just asking about hisardale is produced because of because of which method because of the cross breed because of the cross breeding technique hisardale is produced you know close breeding line breeding out crossing cross breeding inter specific hybridization multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology artificial insemination all these are the different methods what the human beings what the human being generally implement on different animals in order to increase is in order to increase the yield in order to increase his productivity his productivity in the sense is requirement what i mean to say is requirement okay that's all about 150th fourth option is the correct option let us move to the next question 151 and it's from animal kingdom bilateral symmetry bilateral symmetry and uh, acylomate condition acylomate condition is exemplified by first option anilida and second one is uh, tinofora and uh, the third one is uh, platyhelminthes uh, and uh, the fourth one is uh, askhelminthes askhelminthes in this you know bilateral symmetry and acylomate condition is seen in platyhelminthes and uh, the moderate cephalization is also seen in platyhelminthes triploblastic condition is also seen in platyhelminthes and platyhelminthes are nothing but the flat worms if you observe the annelids uh, bilateral symmetry is present but not acylomate condition schizocylomate condition is present that is the reason why we shouldn't take the annelida some students may confuse why can't it be annelida and of course tinofors are very simple you can easily exclude it and ask element is pseudocylomates pseudocylomates but here annelids schizocylomate if you observe the platyhelminthes they are nothing but acylomate condition is seen in platyhelminthes so for 151 third option is the correct option and the next question after 151 let us move to the uh, 156 156 uh, 156 if you observe the 156 question select the correct events that occur during inspiration correct events that occurs during inspiration what happens during the inspiration you know contraction of diaphragm yes if diaphragm undergoes contraction what happens if diaphragm undergoes contraction the dome shaped diaphragm will become flat so the space increases uh, antero posteriorly and similarly the muscles which are present between the ribs uh, they are nothing but ex external intercostal muscles and internal intercostal muscles the sets of muscles when the external intercostal muscles which are present between the ribs uh, imagine my fingers as a ribs uh, when the muscles present between the external intercostal muscles they undergo contraction the sternum will be lifted see the sternum will be lifted so the space you see now imagine this is sternum and here vertebral column is present and if sternum is lifted the space increases dorso ventrally so if the contraction of external intercostal muscles takes place the sternum will be lifted so the space increases dorso ventrally and if we observe this diaphragm if diaphragm undergoes contraction space increases antero posteriorly because of these two events space increases and pulmonary pressure decreases so if we observe the options now clearly you can uh, come to a conclusion that contraction of diaphragm and contraction of external intercostal muscles is an answer so second option is the correct option for 156 let us move to the next question 157 157 so if you observe the 157 which of the following statement is not is not correct they are asking which of the following statement is not correct in that the first one genetically engineered insulin is produced from escherichia coli yes it is correct statement and third when in man insulin is synthesized as pro insulin yes this is also correct 
proinsulin shows an extra stretch extra stretch what is that extra stretch c a b c three chains are present in that uh, c c is nothing but an extra chain which is present extra peptide which is present and third one proinsulin has an extra peptide just now i told proinsulin has an extra peptide called c peptide yes that is also correct the functional insulin that is nothing but the matured insulin has a and b chains uh, linked together by hydrogen bonds they mention hydrogen bonds no they are linked by disulfide bridges disulfide bridges so fourth option is uh, the wrong one you know between cysteine uh, amino acid actually the disulfide bridges are present between a and uh, b chains so not the hydrogen bonds so if we observe uh, the rest of three they are very perfect and this is not correct so for 157 fourth option is uh, the correct option let us move to the 158 if you observe the next question 158 there the different trophic levels were given in uh, the a t4 means fourth trophic level mentioned and uh, here uh, second trophic level mentioned in the c first trophic level mentioned in uh, the c in the b second trophic level and finally in the d third trophic level mentioned so these are the trophic levels which were mentioned in the column in one column and in the opposite examples were given so that the students have to match and you have to match students can easily match and now if we observe the fourth trophic level fourth trophic level is obviously what is that fourth trophic level vulture why because it is uh, the climax carnivore top level carnivore so fourth trophic level is uh, the vulture let me write two here and the second trophic level belongs to the rabbit second trophic level belongs to the rabbit and first trophic level if you observe the first trophic level grass uh, which was given in the fourth one and finally the third trophic level if you observe the third trophic level crow was given in the first trophic level except this no other matching is possible in fact if you carefully observe the question the first trophic level is grass uh, first trophic level the first trophic level which was given in the c is 4 c4 was there only in second option students can come to easy conclusion okay that's all about 158 second option is uh, the correct option let us move to the next question let us take the next question 159 In 159, once again, is a matching question from uh, chemical control and coordination. In the first column, they mentioned the pituitary gland. In the second one, they mentioned thyroid gland. And in the next one, they mentioned adrenal gland. And fourth one, they mentioned pancreas. In this, you have to match with the other column. Concerned disorders were given. If you observe, pituitary gland is associated with uh, pituitary gland is associated with the diabetes uh, insipidus which was given in the third option and thyroid gland if you observe the thyroid gland it was given uh, graves first option adrenal gland was given in addisons which is given in the fourth one followed by the pancreas diabetes pancreas diabetes mellitus which was given in uh, the second option if you observe the graves disease Graves disease is because of excess secretion of uh, the thyroid thyroid hormones and similarly diabetes mellitus was also given you know diabetes mellitus is because of uh, uh, you know low secretion of insulin beta cells produces the insulin so if insulin is not there nobody is going to control the insulin okay so the insulin nobody is going to control the sugar level glucose level so glucose level in the blood increases diabetes insipidus is because of less secretion of uh, adh from the posterior pituitary actually synthesized by the neuro secretory cells of hypothalamus adh controls or adh reabsorbs water from uh, the later parts of uh, the renal tubule and fourth one is pancreas actually i mentioned about the pancreas already so if you correctly match three one four two three one four two it comes under uh, the fourth option that's all about 159 let us move to the next question 160 if you observe 160 the question is from cockroach and they're asking if the head of cockroach is removed it may live for few days if the head of cockroach is removed it may live for few days why why because in the first option the head holds of 
one third of nervous system while the rest is situated along the dorsal part of the body no that is uh, wrong supra esophageal ganglion of cockroach supra esophageal ganglion of cockroach is present in uh, the ventral part of uh, the abdomen that is also not correct in cockroach i mean uh, in, the cockroach does not have nervous system they are mentioning in cockroach nervous system is absent no that is also not correct and fourth one the head holds uh, a small portion of uh, the nervous system head holds small portion of nervous system while the rest is situated along the ventral part of the body yes because you know the, if you remove the cockroach if you remove a cockroach head uh, head holds only a part of nervous system and the rest of nervous system is present in the remaining part of the body you know cockroach exhibits heteronormous metamerism body is divided into head thorax abdomen most of the nervous system is present in the thorax and abdomen head holds only a part of nervous system that is the reason though if you remove the head it can survive for few days so for 160th fourth option is the correct option let us move to the next question is a matching question from uh, the question number 161 actually is a question from reproductive system and is also matching question and in uh, the first one they gave placenta the column one they gave placenta second one is uh, zona pellucida and third one is bulbo urethral glands and uh, the last one uh, leydiz leydig cells so in the column two concerned functions uh, or characters was given characters were given first we will see if we observe the placenta what is placenta it produces a hormone called human chorionic gonadotropin human chorionic gonadotropin is produced by placenta which was given in uh, two second one zona pellucida if you observe the zona pellucida what is that zona pellucida it is nothing but the layer of uh, the ovum which was given in uh, the third one and bulbo urethral lens what is the function given there see the lubrication of penis which was given in the fourth one and leydig cells leydig cells which are nothing but the androgens leydig cells androgens okay so placenta produces number of hormones hcg is very important hormone in that and zona pellucida very important layer which prevents polyspermy and bulbo urethral lens which helps in the lubrication of penis uh, and leydig cells are very important uh, they, they are nothing but they produces the androgens uh, so if you correctly match 2 3 4 1 for 161 first option is the correct option so, uh, next question number 162 identify the wrong statement this is very important identify the wrong statement with reference to the gene i which controls a b o blood grouping system in that the first one the allele small i does not produce any sugar yes small i it does not produce any sugar yes it is correct and uh, gene i has three alleles yes that is the reason why it comes under multiple allelism and this statement is also correct and third one a person will have only two of three alleles yes only two of uh, the three alleles it is also correct and fourth one first one is the all these are correct statements he is asking us to find out the wrong statement fourth one when ia and ib ia and ib are present together they express same type of sugar no they won't produce they can't produce the same type of sugar if they produce same type of sugar why we will give two different names like ia and ib so this is wrong statement see the person if you observe the third statement a person will have only two of three alleles two of three alleles am i right something like you know ia ia ib ib ia ib i o i o small a small a something like that only two of three alleles so 162 fourth option is the correct option why because it is wrong and next question question number 165 actually i want to explain this 165 also why because animals were there in the question which one of the following is most abundant protein which one of uh, the following is there which one of uh, the following 165 is the most uh, abundant uh, protein in animals 
abundant protein in animals number one insulin number one insulin number two hemoglobin number two hemoglobin number three collagen and number four lectin and this you know collagen is the most abundant uh, animal protein it's a protein uh, present in the animals is the collagen very important protein in the body of uh, animals so collagen will become the correct answer for 165 let us move to the next question 167 167 once again a question from reproductive system almost a similar type of question not this one exactly but with reference to the fertilization previously also we have seen one question in the previous NEET and now the meatic division this is very important the meatic uh, division of the secondary oocyte meatic division of the secondary oocyte is completed is completed this is very important that's why i mentioned even in block letters meatic division of the secondary oocyte is completed when it will be completed number one at the time of fusion of a sperm with the ovum yes with the penetration of the sperm with the ovum with the penetration of sperm with the penetration of uh, the ovum by the sperm uh, the secondary oocyte uh, division the meatic division in the secondary oocyte will be finished resulting in the formation of uh, an egg which is nothing but ovum and uh, the second polar body so first option is correct but we have to see the remaining three options also prior to ovulation no what is the use uh, uh, if the sperm will enter prior to the ovulation there is no use no fertilization i mean to say and third one at the time of copulation no fourth one after the zygote formation after the zygote formation um, no the sperm entry it is not uh, that much it is not related so if you observe the meatic division of secondary oocyte is completed after the zygote formation is also wrong so finally first option is uh, the correct option for 167 let us see the next question 169 if you observe the 169 goblet cells of alimentary canal g o b l e t goblet cells of uh, the alimentary canal these are modified from the first option they mentioned compound epithelium in the second option they mentioned squamous epithelium and the third one columnar epithelial cells and fourth one chondrocyte quite unrelated am i right chondrocyte this was given so the goblet cells actually goblet cells of alimentary canal they are uh, they are uh, uh, they are uh, nothing but the modified uh, modified from columnar epithelial cells not from uh, the compound epithelium you know compound epithelium more number of layers are present and the squamous epithelium which is also called pavement epithelium chondrocyte you know chondroblast which produces the cartilage which is somewhat related to the cartilage and uh, the skeletal system means if you observe the chondroblast after that chondrocyte is observed this is also not at all related to the question so columnar epithelial cells uh, they are nothing but the modified uh, forms uh, to produce the goblet cells of alimentary canal which produces the mucous nature or mucous nature so if you observe the 169 third option is the correct option for 169 please please let the lay piece all you but next question question number 171 In question number 171, if you observe question number 171, in that, please, in that 171, it's a matching type of question from uh, the sense organs. So in the column 1, they mentioned organ of uh, corti, organ of corti, and in the next one, they mentioned cochlea, a watch spring like structure present in the internal ear and eustachian tube eustachian uh, tube and the next one stapes stapes is the smallest bone which is present in the middle ear so these are the the structures or the components mentioned in the column one and in the column two we have to match uh, some components or some description which was given in the column two with the column one if you observe organ of corti 
which is located at uh, the basilar membrane which was given in the fourth option and cochlea which is a watch spring like structure coiled portion of labyrinth given in the second option and eustachian tubes uh, connects the middle ear with the pharynx mentioned in the third option and strap is d strap is a is attached to the oval window mentioned in uh, is attached to the oval window. Stapis is attached to the oval window. Third option, it was given in uh, the first option. Okay, each station tube connects medially with the pharynx is given in the first option. So, 4, 2, 1, 3. If you observe 4, 2, 1, 3, it was given in the fourth option. You see the organ of corti, which is uh, located, the hair cells which are located on the basilar membrane. If you observe uh, the watch spring like structure, cochlea, the basal membrane is basilar membrane and this layer is called resinous membrane and over this uh, basilar membrane organ of corti above which uh, pectoral membrane is also present and cochlea which is a watch spring like structure present in the inner portion of labyrinth inner portion of ear inner ear and the eustachian tube which helps in equalizing the pressure on either sides of tympanum you see this is tympanum which is present here the sound waves which enters into the which enters into the head through this external ear and here the eustachian tube is present and this eustachian tube from here and the external sound waves from this side they maintains they maintains the equal pressure so eustachian tube helps in maintenance of equal pressure on either sides of tympanum that is the actual function and it connects uh, middle ear with the pharynx also and the last one is stapis which is one of uh, the three ear ossicles which are present in the middle ear malleus incus stapis stapis is the stirrup shaped bone and is the smallest bone and the muscle associated with the stapis is stapedial muscle so for 171 if you correctly match fourth option will become answer for 171 let us move to the next one 174 174 from the from his experiments of uh, stanley miller s l miller Amino acids produced by mixing the following in a closed flask. See, he tried to replicate uh, the primordial atmosphere in the lab, in a simple lab, uh, with a simple experiment, uh, Miller's experiment. Uh, he tried to represent uh, the primordial atmosphere which was existed previously, and in that he had taken a mixture of uh, ammonia, hydrogen, and uh, NH3, followed by the water vapor at 800 degrees centigrade each which was clearly given in the second option in the first option instead of ch4 they mentioned ch3 instead of 800 degrees centigrade they mentioned 600 degrees centigrade like that the combinations were changed but if we observe the methane hydrogen ammonia water vapor at 800 degrees centigrade were taken by the stanley miller and in the year 1953 itself he performed an extraordinary experiment and he supported the oparin okay and he supported the oparin also Haldane and oparin and s l miller he tried to represent uh, the primordial atmosphere he performed a simulated experiment simulated experiment means similar experiment he conducted in a uh, closed uh, flask in a closed uh, spark chamber i mean to say flask means in the closed spark chamber by keeping the electrodes by providing a uh, temperature okay so for 174 second option will become the correct option let us move to the next question 175 175 select the correct statement dear students uh, they are asking correct statement identify the correct statement insulin is associated with uh, insulin is associated with uh, hyperglycemia insulin is associated with hyperglycemia first option second option glucocorticoids stimulate gluconeogenesis that is the second one third one glucagon glucagon g l u c a c a g o n glucagon which is associated with or which is associated with the hypoglycemia hypoglycemia and in the fourth option they mentioned insulin acts on the pancreatic cells insulin acts on the pancreatic cells and adipocytes were given but actually if you observe uh, the correct statement see insulin is not associated with the hyperglycemia it is associated with the hypoglycemia 
you know, if insulin is present, it makes that glucose to transport into the cells as a result of which blood glucose level decreases. So insulin is associated with the hypoglycemia and uh, similarly glucagon is not associated with the hypoglycemia. Opposite function of insulin, it increases the glucose level. So it is associated with hyperglycemia. So these two statements are wrong and insulin it is not going to act on the pancreatic cells in fact it acts on the hepatic cells this statement is also not correct glucocorticoids stimulates gluconeogenesis if you observe the glucocorticoids gluconeogenesis formation of glucose from non carbohydrate sources gluco means glucose neo see this gluconeogenesis g l u c o gluco means glucose neo new genesis formation formation of glucose from new sources that is associated with uh, with uh, these glucocorticoids that's all about 175 if you observe 175 second option is the correct statement let us take the next question let us take the next question 176 uh, if you observe the 176 monitoral protocol monitoral uh, protocol was signed in 1987 for control of for control of number one disposal of uh, e-wastes number two transport of uh, genetically modified organisms genetically modified organisms gn and emission of ozone depleting substances third one and fourth one release of uh, release of uh, green house gases green greenhouse gases you know monitor protocol which was actually signed in uh, september 16th that is the reason why we will celebrate as ozone day also so uh, and actually it was signed in 1987 which was mentioned in the question itself but came into force after two years 1989 okay so its main aim is to uh, you know it was mainly mentioned in the third option it means emission of ozone depleting substances should be should be controlled ozone depleting substances should be controlled and the ozone depleting substances concentration should be contro controlled in the atmosphere so third option will become correct option for 176 and the next one 177 cuboidal epithelium cuboidal epithelium with a brush border cuboidal epithelium with brush border of microvilli are present in if you observe, uh, see, it's a, just I want to represent this diagram, rough diagrammatic representation, Bowman's capsule. And imagine this is the proximal uh, convoluted tubule. And this one is the descending limb of loop of Henle. And this is ascending limb of loop of Henle. And uh, after that, it shows uh, convolutions. This is nothing but distal convoluted tubule. And this is initial collecting duct. And straight collecting duct, which finally opens okay so if you observe this one see this see this one this is proximal convoluted tubule if you observe the inner lining if you observe the inner lining of proximal convoluted tubule see this imagine see here also cuboidal epithelial cells are present like this cuboidal epithelial cells are present like this the inner border like this like this hope so you can understand very easily and now what they are saying see that brush border of microvilli it means if you observe somewhat clearly then see this the cells appear like this this is one cell imagine and this these are all the extensions which are seen like this it means uh, if you observe uh, the cells this is one cell and these are microvilli microvilli and these microvilli they increases uh, like this they increases the surface area of absorption they unfold they can unfold and increases the area of absorption if you observe uh, 177 cuboidal epithelium with brush border epithelial brush border of microvilli is found in uh, fourth option pct but not in the first option east asian tube second one lining of intestine third one ducts of salivary glands no it is seen in the lining of proximal convoluted tubule of nephron it is found in proximal convoluted tubule of nephron i think you can understand this diagram you can recognize this diagram i think this is nephron okay proximal convoluted tubule of nephron is having this cuboidal epithelium with brush border next question and the next question 179 
which of the following hormone levels cause release of ovum ovulation from uh, the graphian follicle o v u l a t i o n ovulation so ovulation from uh, the graphian follicle which of the following uh, hormone level causes the release of uh, ovum ovulation from the graphian follicle actually it is not the release of ovum we have to call it as a secondary oocyte but anyhow it was given even in cbse also at some points now the first option low concentration of uh, fsh and second one high concentration of estrogen estrogen and third one high concentration of progesterone and fourth one low concentration of lh low concentration of lh you see the ovulation for this uh, high concentration of estrogen is very much important you know actually this is an endometrium which gradually grows in size but if you see the thickening of endometrium now no need to talk about the endometrium but you see this follicles which gradually matures and ovulation takes place from this follicle and this is the secondary oocyte which is going to release for this the hormone which plays a very important role is the estrogen estrogen hormone concentration increases like this so progesterone hormone concentration this is imagine this is progesterone concentration and this is estrogen concentration estrogen hormone concentration increases and in fact this estrogen surge estrogen surge this estrogen surge causes the ovulation for this lh surge is also required but here low concentration was mentioned it is not correct high concentration of progesterone is also not correct low concentration of fsh is not correct so in fact high concentration of lh is very important for high concentration of estrogen and lh surge is very important along with the estrogen surge to takes place for this ovulation so the liberation will takes place because of uh, the high concentration of estrogen so for 179 uh, second option will become the correct option that's all about uh, uh, the paper explanation of uh, neat 2020 thank you all the best